a minute. Am I seeing things? Like, I could have sworn I just saw a video where Living Luxuriously for Less had on the exact same outfit. Like, is she losing it? What's wrong with her? You guys, hi, it's Melanie, and welcome back to Living Luxuriously for Less. And no, your eyes are not playing tricks on you. I just have, you know, some downtime and I needed to film some intros and outros to share a lot of content that I've been backed up on trying to get out to you guys. And with me trying to create some work-life balance, this is going to have to work. So if this outfit is, is a hit, great. We, we're going to look great for the next few videos in the intros and outros. If it's a miss, I'm so sorry. I will try to get it right in the next video. But Today's video is something that I wanted to kind of talk about for such a long time because a lot of times when we look at party decor and home decor on YouTube and on Instagram, we feel like we have to go back and spend all of this massive amount of money that we may or may not have to get that Insta-worthy photo or to get that YouTube video-worthy room makeover or refresh that we've already done a million times. And I just wanted to kind of bring us back to reality. We need to come back to reality. Come on back. Come on back. Come on back. <laughs> if you guys have been watching me, you know that my home has been decorated pretty, pretty much the same way with a few upgrades every now and again for as long as I've been on YouTube. And I don't think anything is wrong with upgrading and refreshing your home. But the reality of it is, is that a lot of people don't have the money to upgrade and refresh a room every three or four months. If you do, that's your business, more power to you. I'm trying to get there. Um, but if not, I wanted to share with you guys how this single mother updated a room in her home for under $250. So if you guys remember, sometime last year, I shared with you two rooms or three rooms that I have redone in her home. She, this was her first, very first home. She's a first time homeowner. And I redid her son's room, Travis's room. So here is what that room looked like. It turned out absolutely amazing. And then I also redid her other son's room, Trevor. And so we did a different spin on his room, but here is what that room looked like. It turned out phenomenal. We also did her bedroom and I think I did it around the Christmas holiday. So you're gonna see a little Christmas decor in it. But overlooked that it still turned out great and now we um she was getting into the process of redoing a, another empty room in her home but she was on a budget and she wanted to stick within that budget and not go over that budget and i had already bought some things for this particular room from hobby lobby when they had a clearance sale those items were like I don't know. I know I spent under $25 on these items because they were like either 80% off or 90% off. I bought curtains, I bought curtain rods, and I showed you guys all those things in a haul. But she did not have it in her budget to buy furniture. Well, as fate would have it, someone had blessed her with a $100 gift card. And she was able to use that gift card to purchase... Um, some furniture pieces for this room makeover. And she went to walmart.com and she purchased a, um, she purchased the, the sofa that you see. She also purchased the desk, the end table, the two nightstands and the two lamps are lamps that I had on my patio. And she repurposed those lamps to this room. And so her grand total was, I want to say around $200, but we said give or take with taxes and all that, the whole space was $250. And it turned out absolutely amazing. Like she got a futon, she got a table, she got two chairs, and she used things that she had. So that's one of the things that I wanna share with you guys in this video is that when you are going in and you're redecorating a space, the first thing you wanna do in order to save money is to look at what you have in your home. Look at things that you can repurpose. Look at, you know, don't let pride keep you from accepting a gift from someone who is no longer using those items. Bring those items into your home because they can look absolutely amazing in your space. They can be exactly what you needed. Like she was looking at buying lamps and remembered that I'd given her two lamps from my patio and they looked absolutely amazing in her space. So shop your home and don't allow pride to keep you from being blessed. 
The second thing is stay within your budget. If you know that you want a thing, if you need that thing right now and you have to settle for something cheaper, do so. But if you don't have to settle for something cheaper, I absolutely recommend you guys to wait that time and then go and buy, save and then go buy what you need. So in this particular case, this is not going to be a heavily used room. It's more like an office. So she did not need like this superior quality furniture. She just needed something that was functional and something that looked nice. And it was within the budget that she already had set aside to purchase these things. So um, she had this $100 gift card. She was able to apply to her order. Her son also works at Walmart, so he gets a discount. And then he had, she had a few other things to happen to be able to afford this room. But her overall budget was around $200, and she knew that she could not go over this budget. But her desire was to get this room finished. And she did exactly that. The third thing is, so the first thing we, we want to remember is to shop your home. Don't allow pride to keep you from being blessed. The second thing is to um, stick within your budget. And so purchase those things that are in your budget. If you need to save more money to buy a higher quality item that you're going to get more use out of, I highly recommend you to save that money and purchase. But if it's something you need right now and it's not something that you'll be using a lot, then definitely wait to um, go ahead and purchase what you need to purchase, but seek out any discounts or things like that that you can apply to your purchase. The third thing is, you know, I always say this, shop off season, shop the clearance sales, buy things that you love, find that inspiration piece and decorate around that inspiration piece. So this is probably should have been my first tip because I had already purchased the paint, the wall art, like all the wall art you see, I just found it on clearance. They look good to eat, to get, you know, with each other. Not necessarily, I didn't buy it to go together. It was just like, oh, these colors kind of, you know, complement one another. I wasn't sure how it was going to be used, but she was able to incorporate all of that artwork in this one particular room. And I spent less than $25 on all of that along with the curtain. So definitely find your inspiration piece and then build your other things off of that inspiration piece whether that piece is artwork like it was in this room um, whether that piece is a lamp or a rug or a sofa or whatever it is build your entire design around that particular piece and then that will keep you um, in the right flow in the right color scheme and it will just kind of keep you also in budget in terms of the overall look or the that you want for that particular room or the aesthetics for that particular room or the theme for that particular room. And then the last tip that I have is I definitely, you know, recommend that know that Rome was not built in a day. It takes time to furnish a home. It takes time to furnish your apartment. It takes time to furnish a room. And so although this room is not complete, complete, it is functional for her. You know, there are some things that she desires, but they're not necessarily things that she needs. So now she is looking for the right rug. So she's going to save for that, go in and purchase that rug and, you know, purchase a rug that matches that space. But right now it's not in the budget. She's maxed the budget out. So don't go out and start charging credit cards or making irrational decisions or buy bad financial decisions because this room doesn't have that complete look. Be okay with it. You know, allow yourself to be okay with it because it's your home and you're the only one that has to live in it. It has to function for you. It does not have to function for YouTube. It does not have to function for Instagram. It has to function for you and for your family. So keep that in mind. Patience is a virtue. I recently, speaking of patience, I had a rug in my living room that I knew was not like the right rug. I'll share that rug with you guys. It wasn't like the most beautiful rug in the world. But because I was patient, like five, six years later, I have finally found the perfect rug for my room. And I'm okay with that. Like, I'm not going to go out and spend a thousand or two thousand dollars on a rug just because somebody on YouTube left a comment saying you need a bigger rug or you need a new rug. New rug. Like, unless you're going to start a GoFundMe to you know, send me the money for the rug. Like I'm not going to do, I'm not going to do that. And so I think a lot of times we get so much pressure 
from social media, so much pressure from those on the outside to create what we feel like we should already have that we miss out on the process and the enjoyment of building. Building is so important. You go in to decorate your home or to decorate your room or to decorate your small space or whatever you have, you know, enjoy the process of building and creating and don't feel like you have to have everything together right then because you need to be able to buy pieces that you love so that 10 years from now, you look at that piece and you still love it and you don't find yourself running back to the store, refreshing, refreshing, refreshing because you bought exactly what you love. And if you do need to refresh in a, you know, event that you know, like for her, she knows a futon is not what she necessarily wants in this space, but she knows that she wants to build towards more. And so as she saves more and her budget increases, then she'll go out and buy whatever she wants to go right there instead of the futon, you know, but she's not pressured to go out and, and do that. And so I don't know, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I wanted to share you guys, share with you guys a few tips on how she decorated this room for less than $250. And I mean, I was so proud of them. And I was like, you know what? I need to share this on YouTube because so many times people feel like they have to have all this money to live a quality life or to live luxuriously for less. And that is so far from the truth. I want you guys to know that no matter how, what level you, you are on, you can enjoy a higher quality of life. And that's what I wanted to share in this video. I hope I got that message across. If I didn't get anything else across, I wanted to sit down and share that with you guys from the heart. So that is all for, that I have for today's video. Y'all be sure to go down in my comments and tell Lanita and her son, Trevor, how great of a job she did. Like I told you guys, she's a single mom. Um, she has two boys that are in college and she is doing a phenomenal job with this and a first time homeowner like this is a huge deal so y'all spam my comments with positive things for lanita we don't you know share positive things enough and even as creators sometimes we don't open up our platforms to highlight someone else for the right reason it's like if we highlight them it's because we're really doing it because we want to make ourselves shine and this is not at all about me this is just a living will it's just a blessing to see someone take the principles that you've instilled in your life and apply them into their life and it works like they did this without me knowing just taking principles that they've seen me implement they've seen me work they've seen me teach and preach take those same principles and to create that that is so huge for me so you guys spam my comments with positivity okay all right so i will see you guys next time and Hopefully by then I will change clothes, but if not, it'll be a few videos with the same outfit on. Just bear with me, bear with me. We're gonna get some work-life balance here and I'll be talking more about that in upcoming videos. So stay tuned for that. So until next time, it's Melanie with Living Luxuriously for Less. Cheers.